I want to build instant equity when I'm buying a home, but I also don't want to flip. If you're like me, um, and maybe some of you are, you're not very handsy, which means um, you, you don't know how to pick up a hammer very good. <laughs> uh, so that is to say, I, I don't want to get into a home, and I'm, I'm talking personally here, I don't want to get into a home that needs a lot of work. Um, and I think a lot of my clients are thinking the same. So don't want to get into a home that uh, is at the top of the market, as in like there, there's nothing there, there's no equity for me to, to pull into right away in case something were to happen. I want to buy a house in the green, so to speak. I want to buy a house and know that when I'm purchasing the house, I'm walking into money. Now, not everybody can operate like this. I get it. Like some, sometimes you just have to get what's convenient and just make the, the long game count, which also is very valid. But consider when you're looking for a home, if you can find the home that has a number of um, inconveniences that, you know, it's not like a flipper range, like flippers are often looking for fifty, hundred thousand dollars that they can walk into so they can make uh, money as they fix it, probably closer on the higher end of that or more. <laughs> um, but for those of us that are looking for a residential home to move into, something as simple like uh, a paint job or you know maybe even finding a dog smell in a house. Dog smell is actually one of my favorites to find because uh, often people treat it like smoke, which means there's a smaller buyer pool uh, than there might have been otherwise, but a lot of the smell is stuck inside things like uh, the carpet and the furniture. You know, sometimes you might need to do something like a layer of kills paint to get rid of the smell. Um, but that's, that's the things that I look for personally when I'm looking for a home, and I, I, I believe that there's about ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 worth of equity or more just from the smell alone, if it's manageable. From there, just be ready to negotiate. Um, it's okay if a house doesn't work out and it's okay if somebody says no to an offer. Just be ready to make an offer for what works for you and uh, who knows what'll happen. Sometimes they say no, no right away and then a few weeks later, they might come back to you and um, reconsider because it hasn't sold you. Anyway, I hope that was helpful uh, for your, your th real estate thoughts. And uh, anyway, I'm Jake the Realtor. Let me know if you have any questions about the real estate market and we'll talk soon.